nature's beauty can be deceiving. The devastating earthquakes in New Zealand and Japan recently reminded Californians that for us too, the clock is ticking. Stop, attention all staff, evacuate. This video, commissioned by senior research fellow Noni de la Peña and produced by her students at the USC Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, was one of four covering the school's participation in a statewide training exercise called the Great Shakeout. We were trying to prototype what would happen to the journalism school if it were completely closed due to an earthquake. So far, so traditional. But then... We decided to try the virtual environment as a way to conduct a class session. That's right. As part of a USC Center for Scholarly Technology and Technology Enhanced Learning Project, De La Peña, along with Professor Laura Castaneda and Wendy Chapman, summoned students in the user-created world of Second Life, where freshly minted avatars gathered on virtual campus. What's your Second Life name, UC? I'm UC Waldros. I'm Traveling Daylight. One. Traveling Daylight? Yes, I'm Traveling. What was your character? Mine's Heaven Too Cool. These digital alter egos then went on to discuss their findings on how earthquake-prepared USC really is. There are many unknowns in this scenario. How they would get to campus in the event of an earthquake through traffic, I don't know. But That's really, really scary, the idea that we would have to somehow get our doctors across town. Yeah, I mean, people that we talked to on campus, they didn't know, and that's the most information I've gotten. Using 3D worlds in education has enormous potential, says Dedal Pena. Consider what just happened in Japan and, and in New Orleans after Katrina. Could some of those students, wherever they were dispersed, still have gone to the same class, connected with the community that they were involved with during their educational process, and continued along the same trajectory to meet the same goals they had in the classroom? And since we are talking about disasters, natural or man-made... One of the great things about immersion is that students become active participants, moving around spatially. It started to feel like a physical experience, especially the second train derailment. When we were asked to run away from it, I actually started to feel almost like a little physical sensation of panic. And we're there, discussing it. Students felt the stories that they were trying to create became clearer, and more focused. Technically, you know, they had yeah. produced it really well. And it did give you some sort of a personal effect, more like you were there rather than watching something on television. Our decision not just to reduce a classroom, but to integrate their stories with the best a virtual world can do, which is simulation, may offer some ideas. Ideas such as making complicated information more experiential, like the environmental implications of mountaintop removal in Kentucky or the human consequences of carbon markets in the Brazilian rainforest. Reed Steamroller from Sandcastle Studios is lead designer for this USC project. User-created content is really the key to the Second Life experience. It's incredibly easy to jump in and get started. Also, you can communicate in text and spatial voice, interact with the web via shared media, and all the simulations are hosted elsewhere, so you don't have to worry about getting fast servers. So while we're not certain when the big one will hit California, we do know how well-suited 3D environments are for learning. New research from major universities like Duke and Indiana clearly indicates that. But how to enthuse the skeptic? Integrate projects with the real world. That we're reminded we're not just building a fictional environment, but we're actually referencing the physical world. Hey, good idea. Add my patented No Educator Left Behind program and we shall convince them all. I'll even wear a nice suit next time I visit your classroom. This is Traxter Dupre, busy evangelizing. In both worlds, of course.